super dog and a home bargains haul for you today. I just picked up, it's probably going to be a quick haul, well, unless I start yapping. I just picked up a couple of wee things. I've got them sitting all inside of me. I'll start off with the super dog stuff. I picked this up. It's the natu Naturally, this is like super dog's own, own brand. Natu I can't say that. Naturally Radiant Brightening Day Cream. I've had this before. This is for normal to dry skin. I've had it before that's really glaring really bad because of the silver. It's in, I think it comes in a little glass pot, if I remember. Rightly, I've also got no, it's not, it's in a little plastic tub. I'm talking rubbish anyway. You get them in the little pots, they also come in the little tube type things. But I find that the tube things, other than cutting them open, there's like wasted product in the beginning. Whereas these, you can like scrape it all out. I think this was like 2 99 or was on the like buy one, get one. I think this was half price at the time, so it was around about like 2 99 or two pounds something or other. Anyway, sorry, I don't know the prices, but I've had that before and it's really good. And it does make your it just gives your skin like a little bit of brightening. A bit more brightening than like an ordinary moisturiser and I really really like that so this is like a repurchase of this. I've had this, I think I've had this, this might be like my, like I've had the tube, I've had a couple other these, this might be like my fourth one or something of these because I really do like it. So there's that, sorry just chucking it down the side of me again. Next thing I got was this, this is the Vitamin E Skincare, again Superdrug's own brand, all over cream with dragon fruit and it's a big pot of moisturizer basically and it smells really really nice oh it smells lovely i can't explain it i don't actually know what dragon fruit smells like so i'm going ahead and assume that this is what i do not know what dragon fruit smells like but it smells really nice it's like fresh without being it's not overly perfumed or anything it's like a nice fresh kind of scent and it's very thick i don't know if you yeah it's wood <laughs> it's taking a little bit of a risk there but it's very 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 thick and I thought that would be nice for moisturising my legs. My legs get really, really dry and I'm really bad about moisturising them. But anyway, I got that and this was, I think this was 3 99 and it was one of those ones that were like, you get triple points if you bought this. So I got that one. That's my first time buying that, so I don't know if it's any good or not. Next thing I got is this, is the Fruity, again, the Super Drugs on brand, Fruity Shea Butter and Bamboo Shower Gel. Divina, it says 100%, oh, I thought it said 100%. Anyway. Shea Butter and Bamboo Shower Gel. It's in this sort of yucky kind of brown colour, but it smells really, really nice. It's like a fresh, creamy kind of smell. It smells really nice. Davina loves these type of shower gels, so I always pick them up. I've got a like, selection of soaps, and I'm trying to get through the soaps. They're all like the Scottish Fine Soap Company soaps. My aunt, get, aunt gets me them, and I do use them in the shower, but Davina doesn't like soap, so I'm always having to... If I could just use them, I would never have to buy shower gel for the longest time because I could just use soap. But Davina does like them, so does Alexander. Like these little, I've got some things there, like fancy shower gels and stuff. Anyway, this is pretty much for Davina, so bought that. Davina's my daughter, in case you don't know. Right, next <laughs> I'm going to show you. There is a story behind these. So Mark was on the bus and there was some woman, I don't know if she's sitting behind him or in front of him on the bus. And he smelled a really, really nice smell. He thought the perfume she, she was wearing was really nice. So we're sitting debating, should I ask her what she's wearing because it's really nice or is that creepy? Should I ask her, should I not, is that creepy? He decided to go ahead and do it and be creepy and ask her, I don't think it is creepy, but he asked her what what type of perfume she was wearing and she said this, is it, it is the Hawaiian Tropic Exotic Breeze Fragrance Mist and I think originally these are actually like £10 a bottle but they were doing an offer on them where all their fragrances were I think the fragrances were buy one get one half price and you also got 20% off or something so basically it worked out that you got two bottles of it for £11 instead of one like it's meant to be £10 each so it was a crazy good deal but I think originally these are £10 each they've got a whole range of other scents this is the smell that the girl was wearing so he told her what she what she told him what it was and where you got it that you bought it in Superdrug so he went into Superdrug to buy it and who was serving behind the counter but the woman, he did, she didn't say that she works in Superdrug, but it was her. So I was like, Mark, do you realise how creepy you look now that you've asked this woman? It's going to look like you're stalking her, but there's only one Superdrug, like there's anywhere near us. So he literally just went in to get the perfume and she just happened to be working there. Anyway, she saw, they had a laugh about it and whatever. So he got me this and he also picked me up this one because he thought I would like this. This is in the, let me see, Exotic Breeze. It says Ju Juicy Mango and Golden Ambers. This one is... You can smell like the fruity smells and it's really nice. I like fruity type smells, but it's got that perfumey, perfume type smell to it as well. This lasts a very long time. Like, well, it must be that woman in the bus. 
Mark could smell it off her and asked what it smelled like, so it must last a long time. I've since used this, you can see I've used a little bit out of it, and it's it's just it's a really lovely smell. It's very feminine, it's very nice and fresh, perfect for the summer, and it does last a very long time. But he got me this one, and this one is actually my favourite. So if I had to say, would I, I possibly wouldn't repurchase this one, although it's nice, I just love this one so much more that I can see myself purchasing this one again and again and again and if I got like the two for the same price I would buy two of these ones because they're lovely. This one also comes in a, there's different scents and I smelled them all at the time but this one is by far my favourite. This is the Golden golden Paradise, oh, golden Paradise Fragrance Mist and it says Warm Sand and Creamy Coconut and it is, it could not be more holiday smell, it's just, oh it's gorgeous. It's like coconut, sun cream, just everything holiday. It's so nice. You have to give this one a sniff. It's really, really lovely. It also comes in this, the like glitter mist. But this is just like plain fragrance spray, but it comes where it's got glitter and you spray it on and you get like a little glitter, which would be nice maybe if you were going on holiday and going out in the evening just to give your shoulders and what's that, decollete, decolletage, whatever, this, like just to make that a bit glitzy. Anyway, I don't, Mark hates glitter, so... I probably won't be getting the glitter one but this one is definitely definitely if you like the summery beachy holiday smells this one is so worth trying I would even go in and pay full price for it like obviously I got these two for 11 but I would definitely pay the 10 pounds for this it's gorgeous cannot say enough that good things about this and this is what the bottle looks like it's lovely and last things from Superdrug are these I picked these up from for my daughter Davina she is always doing face masks always always this one is a, these are all the Superdrug's own brand. This is the um, Cucumber Cooling Clay Mask. I thought that sounded nice and refreshing. This is the Dead Sea Purifying Clay Mask. And it's got like orange, what's it with? Let me see, this one is Dead Sea Min Minerals and Cucumber Extract. This one is Witch Hazel and Willow Bark Extracts and that one. And this one is Superfruits Exfoliating Mask. This one looks quite nice, it's like a purpley colour. Raspberry, cranberry and blueberry fruit extracts. Deep, deep, deeply purifies pores and smooth skin. I think maybe, maybe I could just, maybe I could, oh, I'll just give them to me. I was going to say maybe I could just have this one. I like the sound of this one. Anyway, there's that, I picked them up for her. Next things are the home bargain stuff. It was basically just, it was more or less kind of essentials that I was getting in home bargains. So I've got this, it is the Daily Defence. Um, what is it? Daily Defence Keratin Shampoo. I like this. It's really nice. It works well. There's a conditioner that goes with it. There's the big bottle of conditioner that you get like this. This is one forty nine, and you can get the conditioner like this. I've had that before, but it doesn't work anywhere near as good as this. I'm going to show you. This is the. This is like a deep hair conditioner. I think it is. Daily Defence Breakage Defence Deep Conditioner. This is what I use. I don't use this as like a treatment or whatever I literally just use this as my like every time I wash my hair conditioner I hate brushing my hair I have like really quite long hair which has not been brushed for a couple of days but anyway this is so good really really good this is also £1.49 if you look at that obviously if you buy the big bottle of this conditioner you're getting better value for money but this is worth it to me to get this this is now the only conditioner I will use and it's it's lovely it's really good I can when I put it on my hair, I can like easily brush my hair with minimum tugs. It makes your hair really, really shiny and really nice. My hair at the minute is needing washed, so not a good example of this. But it does make your hair really shiny and it's really lovely. It kind of reminds me of, you know the type of conditioner that you get when you buy hair dye? And the conditioner and it's always really, really good and makes your hair super shiny. This is what this is like in a tub. It's really lovely and it smells really nice too. So shampoo and the deep what do you call it? Deep conditioner and that, and these were both one forty nine for those. Sorry for going off camera. And like I said, I always get the gold one. I've never tried this. This again is the deep conditioner, and this is the argan oil one. This is a damage defense argan oil one. I've never tried this one because I like that one so much. I always just buy that one. But I think they only had one of those ones when I went in, or they did one or two. Anyway, I, bought, I think I bought two of those ones and two of these ones because they only had two of the gold ones left and normally when I'm in there, I kind of stock up. But because only two, I bought this and I thought, well, I'll give it a try. And it does smell really nice. It smells really, really fresh. It's nice, thick consistency. It says it's a three-minute leave-in treatment. So when I go in the shower, 
I'll wash my hair, rinse the sh shampoo off, put, my put the conditioner on my hair and then I'll do all my other bits whether I'm shaving or washing or whatever and then once I've done all that I rinse my hair so it probably is left on for about three minutes but it's so so good, it's really really excellent and you don't need to just use it as like a treatment thing though it would be good for that. Next thing I got is this for Alexander, it's the Crayola, it's in the shade Denim, I, they didn't have any other colours, it was only the blue one and it's bath and shower gel and it's just it's shaped like this and then you open the little nozzle thing up and you can like, I suppose you can kind of draw and stuff, we don't have a bath, we've got the shower but it's really just to encourage him into the shower, he's seven and he hates going in for a shower so anything that helps, so I picked that up and I think this one was a pound or 79 or 89 pence, it was not much off that, a pound or less, anyway it was, I bought that. We will try it and see if it gets them in the shower. Next thing I picked up was the Blistex Happy Lips and it's in the scent Mouth Watering Mango and that just sounded really nice as a lip balm for the summer. I love mango and fruity smells for the summer so I've not tried it yet so I don't know if it's any good but bought that and that I'm sure that was a pound for that. And next thing I got, oh dear, this was 29 pence and it's a Puma stone on a little rope. I do have one of those diamond peddy things, but there's something about just your original pumice that I really like. And so I thought I'll leave this in the shower and I can just do this like quickly in the shower. I've actually, because of my back, I've actually been having to have a shower sitting down and like do all my, it's like wash my hair and rinse my hair and all that while I'm sitting down in the shower. But I thought I could just do this as a wee step in the shower because sometimes by the time I get out of the shower and get dressed, I don't think about doing the diamond peddy thing. So if I, this is in the shower I'm probably more likely to do it so uh, that was like 29 pence so pick that up. They are, it's good that they're so cheap because I hate, I think they go a bit nasty like if you keep them too long so I, if I was going to start using a pumice all the time I would want to replace it quite a lot. Next thing I got is this, I have no use for this whatsoever, I don't know, even know where I'm going to put it. I could possibly put it in, it's got a little bit of dust in it possibly put it in my syndrome it was just too adorable you know I like clouds with faces and this is a little hook thing like this and it's a cloud with a face and this is either 69 or 79 pence but it was too adorable to leave and it's just I, but again don't know what well, I could put it here it kind of goes blue with the pink it's got little pink cheeks anyway it's so cute I might actually put it in my bedroom this may go in my bedroom it's just ever so sweet and I couldn't resist it even though I didn't really have a need for it um, picked up some toothpaste, this is the toothpaste paste we've been using for months now and it's the only one I buy now because I really do like it, it's the cleansing charcoal toothpaste, it's got like a, not your, it's kind of minty but it's not like overly minty, you know sometimes you brush your teeth and it's like, like icy minty where it's like almost burning your tongue kind of nip, nip it, that, that's not what this is, it is black toothpaste however and it's not hard to get off your sink or anything but like ordinary toothpaste is less noticeable when your kids have brushed their teeth and it's usually Davina actually because Alexander uses kiddie toothpaste but yeah, Davina, we'll just blame Davina, you really notice this because it's black toothpaste against a white sink so anyway apart from that it is really good toothpaste and I keep on purchasing it and I think this was 99 pence or a pound, we'll see a pound and like I said it's really good so we'll do that, oh dear and I think it's got like whitening properties because it's charcoal Another thing to try and get Alexander in the shower, I have tried this, this has worked in the past to get him in the shower because it's fun, it's moldable foam soap, it's got little sea creatures all over it and it's basically just, squish. it's like shaving foam, that's kind of basically the gist of it, but he likes doing this and I can sort of squish it all over him and he can wash his little body and it makes it shower time more fun and so I got that. And I've been asked in the past if I dye my hair, and I do dye my hair, but I dye my hair, it's not that I dye my hair a different colour to my natural hair colour. This is pretty much my natural hair colour. In fact, yeah, I would say it's been a long time since I've seen, but this is probably my natural hair colour. It's like a dark kind of brown, but I do have a few, in fact, I've not dyed my hair in quite a while, so you might actually be able to see them. I do have a few little greys here in the front. So I basically just choose a hair colour as close to my natural hair it's just to get rid of the greys so I'm not changing the colour of my hair. I like this one, they do have this in dark brown but I find the dark brown one is too dark even though you can see my hair is quite dark. The dark brown one gives more of a black kind of look so I use the natural brown one. This is from Home Bargains, it's the Derma V10 which is like Home Bargains own brand type thing. This is a pound a bottle, like a pound, I always buy two because my hair is pretty long but a pound like 
your other hair dyes are like five, six, seven pound, this is a pound. It works really, really well. Like I was saying before about the conditioner that comes with hair dyes are usually really great. I don't think the conditioner that comes with this hair dye is particularly brilliant, but it doesn't matter because I use the one that comes in the tub anyway, so it really makes no difference to me. But a pound for hair dye and it does really really work and it doesn't seem to like overly dry my hair out or anything i've been using this for quite some time now probably the over a year or more no it's maybe a year or two years i've been using this and for a pound you just can't go wrong so picked up two of them because i'll be dying my hair before i go away probably and the last thing i picked up was for davina because she likes shower gel as i've said this is the original source vanilla and raspberry shower gel and it just smells really, really nice and Davina really likes it. And I think it was a pound. Let me have a sniff. Yeah, it smells really... It actually smells like sweeties or something. Like, it smells like a sweet that I would like to eat. I'm now... Now I want sweets. I'm going to have to stop filming and go and get sweets. Anyway, that is the very last thing I've got to show. I've got another video coming up really soon. And it is... Uh, really soon. I will literally be filming it straight after this. Maybe with a little break to go and get sweets. And I'll be filming a charity shop haul, so I'll have that up for you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.